this is eight, and I'm telling you right now, you know why we get people on the Marimba? I have eight students who own Marimbas, high school students. And we have a Marimba ensemble, which I'd like to bring them up one of these times. And, uh, and I'm going to show you the bass Marimba that I have. I'm using both parts. Huge keys. They're cool. I love the bass Marimba. Anyway, um, but we start them out on this instrument because of the gorgeous sound. They fall in love with it. Steve, yeah. Everybody knows who Gad is, don't you? No, I think that half the guys are talking about the <laughs> Okay, Gad, over 3500 albums. He is the drum set. He is the guy. If you're not, if you don't know who Steve Gad is, out of here. Get out. Well, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. <laughs> okay, so, but Steve Gad said this. Any percussionist who gets a degree in music has to have played the mountains, the timpani and whatnot. Gad graduated from Eastman Conservatory. Well, which means he had to play the Mormon concertos that were required and everything else. John Beck was his instructor. And the point is, is drum set is not part of percussion training. By the way, guys, that, that's the other thing. I need to tell you, if you think you're going to get a scholarship in drum set, it ain't going to happen. You know why? Because the percussion instructor doesn't care whether you play drum set or not, only the jazz department. And they don't give scholarships. The jazzers are broke. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> but the point is, is that the drum set is not part of your percussion training. And that's why if you don't know by the time you get to college, you better be working. You know, you better be playing drum set in the band working. Because that's the only time you're going to get at the drum set unless there's an ensemble you need. You're going to be spending most of your time on mallets, timpani, the vibes, which I have a set of vibes in there, but I'm not going to bring it out right now. I thought we'd have more students today. But you're going to be spending more time on this. This is, the, this is where the money's at, the percussion. This is your full ride scholarship, right here. Not there. I mean, you have to be so phenomenal on those, it's not even funny. But the thing is, is, this is where it's at. So if you put your concentration, if you can play drum set, fine. In the snare drum, if you went to a, an audition for Michael Burrett at Northwestern, which is a top percussion school, you'd be required to play a snare drum piece, an orchestral snare drum piece. They don't care if you can play drums right because they don't march. The percussion department is not charged marching either. They hate it. Okay, because we're musicians. We don't want to march. We all went through that. Grew up. Anyway, point is, and I'm not knocking Margie because he's going, oh man, don't tell him that. You know. March is okay when you're in high school because it's fun. You get to dress up in silly uniforms and play cool stuff. And you get to beat on things. I hope you don't break anything because that costs the band the money and that's what he gets mad. Anyway, so the point is, is that percussion, guys, this right here, this is where I want you to concentrate. This is where the money's at. This is a guarantee. If you can play this, if you play this well, guarantee that most colleges are going to want what is, and they're going to pay you money to do it. What is good enough for to get a scholarship? Well, right now you have to go through the sequence. You have to go, there's, there's a series of pieces, there's a series of techniques, there's a series, series of things you have to demonstrate that you can do. And that does include some formal play. Not a lot. They're more, they're more concerned with your two mallet and your, and your ability to read. Now it doesn't take very long, basically it does not take you very long to be able to do this stuff. We're talking, if you practice and you're in a training program, mm -hmm. if you're, okay, here, here's the bottom line, guys. People, you have to study. But not with, you got to study with percussion. You can't study with your local drummer and, and figure out, yeah, I would teach you like this pattern, like listen to this, John Bonham did this, and Glenn Sample, look at that pattern, look, ah, <coughs> okay. That is not going to happen. I mean, that is not going to get you. Or you have to study with mallet players. There, there aren't too many of us running around the country that actually. This is this is what I am a, an artist on with the Ludwig Drum Company. This and that. But it's just this. This is fun. But that that's how I make my living. That's that's my paycheck. This is it. You know this. But this is my favorite. This is this is where we all go. Even Gad. This is where we go, and we want to actually enjoy being musicians. This stuff. Uh, but you have to study. And you have to study with somebody else how to teach you. And uh, Dan Kennedy at Sac State, 
you know, percussionists at, at most of your major universities, obviously, they have percussionists, and, and they're going to have to be mallet players because they, they would be there if they couldn't. Uh, one of the best schools in the country is Northridge down in, you know, because uh, Karen Urban's there. I don't care. Joel Leach. Um, Greg is in it. Yeah, uh, called Greg. I did clinics with him. That's all stuff. Tour. Huh? Did you say he's called him? No, I got to call him. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, uh, but he's teaching down there now. University of Northern Colorado, Eastman Juilliard, North Texas State's big time drum set school. That's where Greg, that's, that's where a lot of them come from. Northern Colorado and Greeley is, I got my bachelor's degree. It's wonderful. Wow. Then you got to go to the East Coast. That's where I went. <laughs> Scary. But it's only 19 bucks overnight to New York City from Greensboro, which is cool. You get to fly. You get to go into Newark. And you don't want to be there in after dark. <laughs> anyway. So I went and studied in New York with uh, Lee Stevens, Kiko Avi, Gary Burton, you know, got to go through the whole process. But it's all mallets, guys. If you do this, and they all play drum set too, don't get me wrong. Lee Stevens, our greatest mallet player, you'll read about him in the Grove's Dictionary of Music one of these days. He's responsible for all the new techniques. Well, he studied 10 years with Joe Morello. He is a monster set player. Well, he's been conservatory graduate, of course. Point is that this is where it's at. So you got to decide if percussion is going to be in your future, because you're not going to make it in a rock band. I mean, one in how many Mike? Ten thousand rock bands actually get a chance to do anything. If anything, there's a one-hit wonder, uh, and that's going to be it. Or going in a, in a Beatles, you know, reunion band or something like that. You know, the point is, is that that's your limitations. Uh, so. That's what y'all have to consider. How important is it to you to be good? And you want to pay for college because it's actually pretty easy to get music scholarships if you've got your act together. But you have to study privately. Well, if you want to get your scholarships on music, but you don't really want to do music in college, you just want to get use music as a ride into college, and then get off and go do something else. Learn Can you do that? Well, yeah, after they shoot you, hang you in the corner of it. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, yeah, you know, what, 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 no. Anyway, the point is, yeah, I just want to come here because I want to study anthropology, but I just want a music, you know, thing to, like, pay for what whatever it is. Why you're going to be on music and then drop that and go to what you really want? Well, have you ever seen a pink slip on a scholarship? Eh, eh, eh. They cut it out, they shred it, they go, in the middle of this guy, and you're gone. Okay. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> okay. There's never a stupid question, but that could. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so this is mouths. Now, what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm going to play some stuff. Okay? Because you guys, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have the interest. Okay? But I think you need to hear what's going on. Um, and so let's, Mike, let's put some of this stuff, let's put some of this stuff away. Let's move it. Okay, go ahead. I need that. And by the way, that was tape. It wasn't candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't want you to be, you know. Yeah, I see.